Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid, and this vocabulary lesson is about the topic of crime. Okay, let's start by looking at a few headlines. All right, the first one. Banker charged with embezzlement. Next one. Celebrity arrested for shoplifting. Last one. Man jailed for manslaughter. Okay? Now, there are three vocabulary words there that have to do with crimes. Embezzlement, shoplifting, manslaughter. If you don't know what they mean, by the end of this lesson, you will. Okay? So, let's get started. So, let's look at uh, five words that have to do with crime. What I've done this time is I've written the meaning on the board, and what I'd like you to do is to think, because in, uh, it's possible that you know the word. Some of them are fairly common, and some are not so common, okay? So try to think what it is, and work with me. So the first word refers to the act of setting fire to a building or a shop or something on purpose, intentionally. Do you know what that word is in English? It starts with an A, and it is arson, okay? That's the act of setting fire to a building on purpose. Maybe the person is trying to get some insurance money or something like that. It's called arson. And the person who does that is called an arsonist. Next, what is the word for the crime of forcing sex on someone? or forcing someone to have sex. That word starts with an R, and it's called rape. Okay? The person who does that is called a rapist. Next. What's the word for uh, the act of killing someone on purpose with a plan? It starts with M. Most people are familiar, unfortunately, with this word, which is murder. The person is called a murderer. So you add another ER at the end. Um, this one is the act of threatening to reveal secrets uh, and demanding money in order to keep quiet about those secrets. Sometimes, uh, or very often, this is in connection with someone who is famous, a politician, or something like that. Okay? Do you know what that is? It starts with a B, and it's called... Blackmail. Okay? To blackmail someone. To threaten to reveal secrets. Next. Killing someone accidentally or through negligence. What's that? Here, we said killing someone on purpose, which is murder, but this crime is called manslaughter, okay? Manslaughter. Killing someone accidentally or through negligence. Negligence means not paying enough attention to something you are supposed to be paying attention to. For example, if something happens to a child or something like that. Okay, so these are the first um, five. We have five more, which we're going to look at next. Okay, the next five words all have something to do with stealing, but different kinds of stealing. So we have different words for the different crimes, all right? Let's see if you know what they are. So the first word refers to stealing in general. Stealing by itself, first of all, in case you're not sure, means taking something without permission, without paying for it, all right? Or from a place that's not your own place, etc. Something that's not yours. So what is the general word for stealing in English? It starts with a T. The word is theft, okay? The word is theft. The person who does it is called a thief. Next. Um, Stealing from a bank or shop with force or violence, with a gun perhaps, things like that. What's that? It's kind of stealing again, but it has a different word. It's called 
Starts with an R. Robbery. Okay? And um, the person is a robber. Might be a bank robber, but doesn't have to be only a bank robber. Could also be a robber um, of this in a store. All right? Uh, next one. Breaking into a home to steal. What is that crime called? This one starts with a B. Okay, do you know what it is? It's called burglary. Okay, now I know you may not be able to see these words very well. And also what I'm saying um, about the people like this one who is called a burglar, but there will be a resource on our website about uh, this vocabulary. So you'll have the crimes as well as the criminals. So you can always check there if you want to know exactly what the words are, how to spell them, and so on. Next one, stealing money in your care. What I mean by that is this is a word to refer to the crime of, uh, it's sometimes called a white collar crime. Someone who is in a, a position of responsibility and is responsible for a lot of money uh, steals over time usually, not maybe at one time. What is this called? Any idea? It's a kind of a long word that starts with an E and it's called embezzlement. The person is called an embezzler and the act embezzlement. Okay. Uh, the last one, stealing goods from a shop. Could be something small, could be something expensive, inexpensive, anything. Stealing something from a shop. We have a special word for that, yes, in English. That's called shoplifting. The person is called a shoplifter, okay? So we see that there is a lot of very specific, there are a lot of very specific words uh, to refer to different kinds of crime. Let's review them for a minute. So what's the word for someone who um, forces sex on another person? That person is a rapist. The crime is rape, okay? Let's say, what's the word for someone who goes into a store with a gun and demands money or steals money? That crime is robbery, okay? What's the general word for stealing? Theft, okay? Uh, there's two kinds of words or two words that are on the board. Uh, for killing someone. One is on purpose and one is by accident. So the one on purpose is called murder. The one by accident, manslaughter. Do you remember what arson is? What does an arsonist do? Sets fire to a building, a store or something uh, on purpose. All right. Um, what is a burglar? Burglar is someone who breaks into a house in order to steal. So again, quite specific, these words. If you want to do a quiz on this, please go to our website, www.ingvid.com. And as I mentioned, we'll also have a resource with all of this vocabulary um, on our website. And of course, these are just 10 words for 10 crimes. Unfortunately, there are many, many more crimes. And if you'd like to know some of this vocabulary, uh, send me your comments. And um, if we get enough comments, I'll be happy to to uh, record some more lessons for you and give you some more vocabulary, okay? All the best with your English. Bye for now.